Hey there, Commanders! So on my previous exobiology tutorial, I got a few questions on a planetary landing, which makes sense, because landings can be tricky. So here's a quick tutorial with some info that hopefully makes your landings as fast and accurate as possible. Let's do it! Okay, so before we get into the actual landing part, uh, let's take a quick review of which types of planets you can actually land on and which you can't. So if we take a look at the system map, see this light blue arc around these planets? That indicates these planets are landable. Simple as that. Uh, if they have this little building indication, that means there's also settlements on that planet that you can land and visit. Now notice these two planets have kind of a light blue background or aura around them. Uh, that indicates that those planets have an atmosphere. Uh, but, notice there's no arc around them, which means they're also not landable. Uh, so they're pretty to look at when you fly around them, but you're not going to be able to land on them. Now if you see something like this, with both the light blue background and the blue arc, that indicates that these planets have an atmosphere and are landable. These are the types of planets that can also host exobiology. And then finally, something like this, that has the blue background with a blue arc with a building symbol. So this planet is landable, has an atmosphere, and also has a settlement on it. So to sum up, a blue background means there's an atmosphere. A blue arc indicates the planet is landable. And the blue building symbol indicates there's a settlement or city on the planet. Okay, so let's do it. So there are three phases you'll pass through on the way to the planet's surface. Orbital cruise, glide, and planetary flight. Alright, coming from supercruise, the first zone you'll enter is the orbital cruise zone. Orbital cruise is defined by this blue line right here. And while you're in orbital cruise, you'll be able to quickly cruise around the planet at supercruise-like speeds. In this example, I'm just going for a direct landing at one of the highlighted areas for exobiology, so we're just continuing down to the surface. Okay, now we're in orbital cruise. And it gives a few helpful indicators here. So first, this altitude indicator shows the boundaries between orbital cruise zone and the drop zone, where we'll drop into glide mode. Secondly, to maintain speed in orbital cruise without being forced into an emergency drop, this shows the angle and speed required. So keep your angle under 60 degrees and keep your speed down in this orange zone. Going too fast or too steep into either of these red areas and you'll be dropped out of cruise. So keep steadily descending and once you hit the drop altitude, you'll go into glide mode. Here, just maintain your angle and you'll be able to glide at 2,500 meters per second until you reach about 3,500 kilometers from the surface. So now you're gliding. Just hang on and try not to let the sounds of your ship creaking and cracking get to you, and we're almost there. Okay, you've reached planetary flight. The biggest hurdle here is just making sure you slow down enough before smashing into the surface, especially if you're approaching a high gravity planet. A little trick here is to put your cargo scoop down, which acts as kind of an air brake, uh, and will help you slow down closer to the surface. And yes, this works on planets without an atmosphere. Don't ask why. Now look for a nice even spot to land, and when you're close, go ahead and put down your landing gear. If you have auto landing on, slow to a stop, and then the auto lander will take over and take anywhere from a few seconds to several millennia to find a suitable landing spot. If you're not auto landing, look for a flat spot where the landing indicator turns blue, then ease your way down with your vertical thrusters until the landing gear engages. 
And that's it. Now hop in your SRV or disembark and take a look around. And hey, if you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments and please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Until then, 07 Commanders, and see you next time.